Hello folks, now we are getting for the right at the right reason why I create uh, this channel Keeper's Lab. Uh, you saw me uh, how to lock, pick, open a few locks, uh, but it, this is not the main reason. The main reason uh, of the Keeper or the keeper, Keeper's Lab is uh, to do electronics, uh, programming, and uh, robotics, automatization, anything in this way. We also know how to open locks uh, for the future projects. <clears throat> a while ago, I have ordered this device. This device is called Beaglebone Black. It's from the community element 14. And this is a really cool device. Uh, it's small, it's uh, about the credit card size. It has two times uh, 46 outputs and inputs, available output and inputs. It's uh, running on Linux. Uh, uh, from the factory it's uh, pre-installed by uh, Debian. And <coughs> I got a project at work uh, that require uh, robotic arms uh, to do what it uh, should supposed to do and uh, they told me okay we have uh, one device one robotic arm from other project that end so they asked me if I can uh, make it to move again and uh, the arm is over here as you can see it's uh, using a server motors the server motors are, are controlled uh, by uh, the Elmo motion uh, whistle 6 slash 50 and it's working over canvas and uh, I didn't know at that time it would be that much of challenge to make it work with the beagle bone black uh, but I did it I having I have that working <clears throat> I also take out uh, this panel as you can see it's already have, have some changes you can see some plastic here the plastic wasn't here because there was there was living uh, this PLC machine uh, and this PLC machine it's a 12 inch screen as you can see I already got it the PLC because I used some of the parts inside my machine as you can see I have put it a 7 inch touch screen that is connected to the beagle bone over HDMI uh, here you can see, see the back uh, here is uh, the driver for uh, the LCD display here is the driver for the touch screen uh, it is connected by HDMI and uh, on the USB to the beagle bone black <coughs> as you can see I have uh, uh, my PCB here. Uh, the PCB here it's uh, because uh, this robotic arm is going to work with a camera system so and the camera system it's uh, from cans and that is working on 24 volts I also must be uh, to work uh, with some uh, pneumatic valves uh, that are also working, uh, working on 24 volts <coughs> so I put some auto optocoppers here uh, I also put here you can see it's a 24 volts input that uh, here you can find a DC to DC converter that it's converting the voltage into 5 volt that it's uh, powering the beagle bone and also the touch uh, the LCD touch screen here are some buttons that as you could see from uh, the front side uh, here is connected uh, the CAN bus that it's uh, going over can trans receiver to the RX and TX pin on the BeagleBone Black that must be configured <coughs> and it is really hard to get it done <laughs> I can tell you that okay so I have also created uh, I have created two programs uh, one program is creating it's created in the C that is actually working over the canvas or it's sending and receiving uh, the signals over canvas and I have created a GTK uh, window that is displaying the information 
the GTK window is not done yet uh, so we can open the GTK window <coughs> as you can see there is nothing to see it's uh, only saying if we can focus yes uh, the status uh, now press the home button and the reason is why saying now because there was some communication uh, to get uh, operational numerals, uh, test the communication so if anything fails it's going to show you here the error message uh, the home button it's uh, the white one and when I press the white home button uh, the arm is uh, start to move into its uh, home position now when it's home, at the home position <coughs> uh, you can see uh, the ready status when the status is ready and I press the start button it's going to do one cycle ok that was hard to see so I press the button one more time and it's going to pick up the part and get it back uh, the idea is uh, that it's uh, going to pick up the part open the valve that is uh, going to create a suction to suck the part it's going to take it up uh, where is going to be the cameras that is going to take a picture and it's going to move uh, above uh, the shot for the part and it's going to wait uh, for the signals if it's the part it's okay or it's wrong if it's okay it's just going to drop it it's wrong it's going to move a little bit more and then drop it in the uh, uh, bad parts uh, so let's see one more time the movements and that is pretty much uh, all that it's doing right now because I don't have the camera system here so uh, this is only this, the testing <clears throat> so as you can see we are able to work uh, with uh, several models uh, we are also able to create uh, arms uh, so we already have uh, another project project coming uh, and we are not sure if we are going to get it the project but it is going to be a big project and I will document it uh, all the steps that we are going to do and of course we are going to film it to show you that we can get it done and maybe I make you interested that you uh, order something from us <clears throat> so okay guys thank you for watching and have a nice day